from New York, where they had received a welcome which emphasized their great popularity in the States, Mr. and Mrs. Churchill went by train to Miami. There was naturally quite a buzz here, what with all the press and newsreel men, but there wasn't time for any talk. The Churchills were off to Colonel Frank Clark's house straight away. Their host's residence looks just the place for acquired rest. Here, Britain's great war leader could enjoy a holiday that's certainly been well earned. Here, he could do some painting. Here, too, he was escaping the chills and epidemics that accompany January in Britain. Photographers and pressmen were, of course, hot on the trail, and Colonel Clark's garden was soon full of people who wanted to hear Churchill talk. The ex-premier, who carries his age lightly in spite of six years of unparalleled responsibility, was in very good humour. I've been um, asked to say uh, just ten words, but I haven't been uh, told what, uh, which ten words they should be. Uh, but there are ten words, which, um, or there are about ten, which come uh, very readily to my mind, and that is the great pleasure I have in feeling the genial sunshine of Miami Beach. Thank you, sir, very, very much. This is the great pleasure I have in feeling the genial sunshine of Miami Beach. One too many, one too many. I'm sure everyone in Britain wishes the Churchills a really good time.